and uh, and uh, letting us uh, share the magic of Kong and water. I call it Kong's water because you know that little beautiful voice that's in the machine. She doesn't call it Kang and water. She doesn't say <laughs> Kang and water. She says Kong and water. Nine point five. <laughs> And uh, so that's what I, you know, I always say, how do you think that gorilla got so big? <laughs> out there and getting at the base of the waterfall and drinking that electrolyzed reduced water from nature. And so, you know, we here in the Kong family, um, we have a very simple goal and that is to change the world. It's really simple, no problem. We're gonna do it. Make no bones about it, kids. We're gonna change the world. It's already happening. And so there's no way to stop this ball. This baby's gone, gone off over the cliff and it ain't stopping, baby, till right. the world is aged. And um, so anyway, everybody, I, I really wanna introduce to you guys Aretha Johnson. She is from Clarksville, Tennessee. And um, I'm gonna let her tell you her story, but I wanna tell you um, our story. In fact, how she ended up on the show with us today and, and why I say that she's an angel sent from heaven. And uh, the reason I say that is because the other day, uh, you know, basically this week, I've been trying so hard to find somebody to come in on the Thursday show because I didn't have Thursday filled and I'm trying to fill every day of the week with awesome guests. And, uh, and so I'm, I, I have, I've been working all day long trying to find somebody to come on the show. And all of a sudden I get this, it's like eight or nine o'clock at night and I get this friend request from uh, this gal named Aretha Johnson. And so I go and I click on her profile. I see that she's part of the Kong family. And so I ask her what her story is. And I say, hey, you know, we got this show I do. You wanna come on with me? I need someone on Thursday, you know? And she says, yeah, I'd love to come on. And so, what do you <laughs> She is, kids. And um, so I, um, I'm gonna allow her to, to get after it. And I, I just wanna let you know real quick, Aretha, that as people come into the show, I may inter, you know, stop real, real quick and just jump in and say, hey, welcome, Paul, welcome, because Paul Nelson just jumped in. And as people come in, I'd like to, to let them know that we know they're in here. And so as they come on, I, you know, I could interject and go, and go, hey, welcome, you know, hopefully it won't be happening all, you know, who knows? I mean, the more people here, the barrier, right? And, uh, you know, we can always continue with what we're talking about. But right. anyway, Paul Nelson, he's a tree climber up in uh, Washington State, and he's in here with us today. And uh, so anyway, with all, with all that said, with all my rambling on, I, I welcome the angel, Aretha Johnson, into the show. Thank you so much, Aretha, for taking your time, your valuable time to share with our family um, what your story has been. First off, I'd like to ask you, um, you know, after you talk about, you know, where you, where you are, where you, you know, what your situation is, I, I'd really like to know how, I always ask all of our guests, how and why did you get involved with Kong, Kong's Water? Well, Jay, first I want to say thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. And I do know that it, it's, it was God, it was meant to be, because I have been trying to get the word out more, you know, uh, talk to people more about it. And um, it's all of a sudden, you know, I said, you know what, let me just reach out there. Let me get myself out there because people want to know I have something to help people and that's what I want to do. So how I got into the Canyon Water, well, two, over two years ago, um, prior to that, I had been sick. I couldn't get rid of uh, just a really common cold. And for, you know, cold lasts about, you know, no more than a week. So it was a bunch of mucus also, um, I didn't go to the hospital because I don't really believe in hospitals. Um, you go there for, for a cold, you come out with one leg, you know, just never know. So I, I, don't, I don't go. So, so I uh, just carried on, you know, as the weeks went by, um, you know, drinking plenty of bottled water, um, eating right, eating lots of vegetables and salads and stuff. And it seemed like it got worse. 
it just got worse. And I was like, something's not right. Something's not right here. And me being the, the person I am, I am a researcher, you know, and it's not just a regular Google because we all know Google, we know Google. So it's more of really researching. And um, up, you know, up one night, you know, just looking, praying, you know, asking God what's going on. You know, my son as well, he, he was sick. We didn't know what was going on. So I'm on um, YouTube. I'm looking, I'm searching. I come across Kangen water. And I said, what is this? Right? <laughs> I'm like, what is this? So I click on it, reading it. I said, hmm. Started researching, looking at all the people that it's changed people's lives. I said, well, I'm no different. Let me reach out and try to get this however I'm going to get this. So I come across the Venderas. And they were way in New York. I'm here in little Tennessee. And I just knew that I needed the machine. I needed to try to find out how me and my son was going to get it. I reached out to Nellie Vadera. She was just so gracious to help me get the machine. And ever since we drank the first sip, the first sip of it, me and my son was just feeling just incredible. Um, prior to drinking it, I had, um, I knew that I was pre-diabetic because my mom, she passed in 2012 from, she couldn't, she couldn't balance it. She was on the medication. Um, I was telling her, I said, mom, I don't know about this medication. I said, if it really works, why you have to take it for the rest of your life? You know what I'm saying, Jay? Why, you know, they got people on the medication. People feel that they need the medication and they won't try nothing else. Listen to the doctors and stuff. So she, she, she lost that battle. She lost it. And, you know, diabetes is real strong in my family. And I said, yeah, it's just me and my son. My mm -hmm. son needs me. I cannot afford to get sick. Who's going to raise him? Right. You know, so I said, no matter what, I'm, 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 I'm diving in. I'm diving in. So I got the machine within uh, seven days. Awesome. Hey, Ricky Bowden, welcome in, buddy. We got an angel right here. Listen up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I started drinking the water. He starts drinking the water. And I haven't really been the type of person that exercise a lot. I got this energy out of nowhere. Jay, I started walking literally three miles Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's nine miles a week with no, you know, just with ease, you know, with ease. So I knew, I knew, I said, it's this water. So I'm all happy, you know, I said, I know it's this water, you know, so for a year, I really just been working on just getting my health back to part. Really wasn't doing the business, to be honest. I was just really, you know, with the water, trying to get other people to get the water because I found, I said, look, I found something here. I'm going to try to help as many people as I can just drink the water. Well, we know, we all know, Kanye people know that it is kind of like a, a challenge to, to get people to just drink the water because everybody thinks water is water. How, you know? how correct they are, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, you know, H2O is just H2O. Right. Water is different. It's H2 negative OH. And, right. you know, that's another story for another time, whatever. But all, you know, water is just water. But Khan's water is something special. It's something different. And uh, it really is. You know, that's our battle is, is teaching that. I know in the beginning, I just laughed at my, my sponsor. I laughed at him for six months on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, finally, it was a testimonial, like the one that you're sharing, that finally opened my eyes and made me decide to take a look. 
because up until that time I didn't even look I just laughed I was just like yeah this is stupid water's waters what a what a bunch of garbage you know Tim, <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this you know but I never said anything because I didn't know anything and and um, I don't I don't ever comment on things that I don't have knowledge about unless it's to ask a question and right. so anyway yeah you know that's that's the one of the plights that we face is it's getting people to understand that you know there's something different here yeah it's a lot different in it when i really get into it now been in it really now for about a year really really seeing okay this goes back to when the baby is in the in the womb the the sac the liquid is alkaline you know i really have really been discovering you know this is the the way God really made it from the beginning of time, you know, and we've gotten so far from it that we, we don't realize that, you know, it is just drinking water, but it's been tainted over, you know, the years. So everybody's trying to, we all know that the water industry is a trillion dollar industry. So it's, it's a, more about, you know, different waters in the store you know, who's making money. So when you do say, hey, drink this, they're gonna like, okay, well, okay, what makes you different? Well, if you drink it, you'll see. Yeah. You know, you can't bottle this water, you know, so that should let a lot of people know right there. You can't, you can't bottle it. So I'm excited about it. I'm just, uh, my son, me noticing him drinking the water, you know, prior to that, I had been on just ever since he got diagnosed four year when he was four years old. I what said, was he diagnosed I, with? He was he, he autism. Oh, okay. High functioning autism. He was uh, diagnosed at four years old. Uh -huh. And since that, I had been on a just, I don't care, I'm going to find a way because I know the human body will heal itself. I'm finna find a way to to get my baby to be able to, you know, function out here and to be able to, you know, live out here, you know, a natural life. And I discovered through trial and error, you know, food, the food, you know, I did my tests on my baby. Then I discovered, okay, now it's the water. Well, we are made of water, you know, 70% water. So nothing beats water. You know, so I said, it's this, I'm just so thankful for Kanye Water coming into my life. It's just amazing to me. So what, what has happened with your son? What, uh, how, is, uh, the, how is drinking the water? And then also another question I have for you is, um, you know, you, you started drinking the water. Um, I know a lot of people, they'll say, they'll say, oh, that didn't happen by just changing the water. What else did they change? And that kind of thing. And that, so that's a, that's a question for you is, uh, you know, you started drinking the water, but what else did you change? Did you stop drinking soda pops? Did you stop eating burgers at the fast food? Well, I, you know, I wasn't really a soda person, period. You know what I'm saying? Cause, you know, from him, from actually him, me giving the food to him and discovering, you know, what was making him either, you know, more acting out, you know, with autism, not being focused, can't remember this, you know. So we wasn't really soda drinkers from the get go. Okay. And through the years, yeah, through the years, I had stopped actually eating beef because I started discovering different things with my body with beef. And I said, you know what? I love it, you know, but I just can't allow it to take me out of here. You know what I'm saying? So then I, everybody's body's different. So what happens to me might not happen to someone else. But I noticed in my own body that some things was going on. And I said, you know what? No beef, no pork. You know, these are foods that I was raised up on. Mm -hmm. You know, these foods that, you know, my family, I come from a great family of cookers, you know, homemade food. You know, I'm originally from Louisiana. So, you know, we can burn, you know, Jay, we can cook. <laughs> so, you know, I was raised up on good food, but, you know, a lot of people don't understand what we do in early age. We'll catch up with us, you know, and considering how the food 
had changed over the many years. Beef is not just beef. Chicken is not, it's not the same anymore. Right. So now they got all the stuff in it. And now it's just, you know, people are getting sick. So I said, well, I'm not going to be one of them because I got something to live for. I got my son. My son needs me. So I said, I'm cutting out that. I'm not going to give it to him. And then I said, okay, I got to give him something. Then I did a 30-day test on my son. I was giving him all his little favorite foods, you know, the boxes of pizzas, you know, the, you know, to Tony's, all that stuff. And watch my son act out uncontrollably. He could not help it. So I said, okay, it's not, it's, it's, it's something going on with the food. So I, sa- I started sacrificing. I started, you know, saying, you know what, let me try to, let me just do something different. Let me just do organic and see what happens. So I did that. Of course, it was expensive. So I had to, you know, do week to week instead of month to month. But I noticed a big difference. I noticed a big difference in the way he acts and how he can think. You know, um, it was amazing. So I said, it's the food and the water. That's what's going on. I said, you know, I got to pay attention to this. Ever since my son started drinking this water, he has changed. A lot of people don't even know he, and he might, you know, they don't know he's autistic, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. Yeah, a lot of people don't know. Because, you know, the things, you know, the the eye focusing, you know, um, talking, um, being able to remember behavior, you know, um, all that. You can't really even, you can't even tell he is. So he says himself that he's so thankful, you know, for coming and coming to to our lives. And I was like, I am too, baby. So how old is he? He's 12 years old. Actually, my son's birthday is coming up this month. He will be 13 years old on the 23rd. Terrible teens coming in. (laughs) (laughs) And listen, I'm not rushing it at all, okay? I'm enjoying the time, you know, that he's a child. So I'm not rushing, not one bit. But it's been me and him strong, you know, um, ever since he's been in this world. And um, it's just amazing how this come into my life because I've always wanted to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? We all are looking for a solution, you know, because it's got to be something out here in this world that, yes, we know it's a lot of harmful things, but it got to be something that's helping people as well. Yes. Yes. I come across Kang and Water, Kang and Water. I call it Kang and I call it Kang. And <laughs> when I come across it, it was just, I knew it was, you know, my prayers were answered. I'm just going to be honest about it. I knew my prayers were answered. And at that time, I'm gonna be very honest, Jay. I didn't know how I was gonna pay for the machine. So how did you? Actually, I, when I got in touch with the Venderas, they see my story. I was telling them about me, my son. I was very sick, and you know, she had said we will work with you, and um, they did. They actually, um, Nellie herself, she put down the de- deposit for me and sent me the machine. She said, can you make the payments? I said, I will try my best. That was, see, that was God right there. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And I knew it, you know, because I didn't know them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I be- had been praying, you know, and I know when my prayers are answered. So... That was a blessing how I got into this, to the King of Water. It's a blessing how I met them and everything. So, so have you been able to make the payments and, uh, you know, get it? I, you know, it's I've like been, a single mother supporting yourself. It's got to be tough to, you know, come up with that extra 150 bucks a month or 200 bucks a month or whatever the payments were. Oh, yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been, you know, the first, like I say, the first year I didn't do the business. So, you know, Kung and Water was really, the company and Agic was really working with me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because at that time, I didn't have um, an income. 
you know, outside of my son's um, check, outside of child support, and I was helping another family as well. So I didn't have it, but he made a way for me because Kong and Water and, and Anaji, they were giving me um, time. They gave me time to pay it. And I just said, you know what? I'm not letting it go. I don't care if I have to break the payments down. They said, as long as you pay something on it, and I did. I kept it going till this day. I, I keep it going, you know. And then I started discovering, oh, you know, I can really start to work the business. Now, since I have my own place, me and my son were in our own place. You know, it, I, it's, been, it's been some trials. It's been some challenges, you know. But I refuse to give up, you know, because I see the, the benefits. You know, I see the enormous change in my, my health my weight as well. I want to show you a picture of me, actually. I was a... Uh, wow, over, look at that. Look at that difference there. <laughs> Love it. That is so awesome. What a great testimonial that is. So yeah. how, many, how many pounds has that worked out to be? Do you mind? You know, I'm, I'm, I know I've lost over 50 pounds. Awesome. Wow. I know, that's that, so I know they're from actually getting on the scale and I'm not the type of scale person. So I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you look beautiful. And so mm -hmm. that is just, that's fantastic. You're beautiful then, but you know, now you're, you're a, a shining light. Beautiful. Oh. And uh, yeah, that is, that is fantastic. I always love to see people because I, it, it's a commonplace thing. Anybody that gets on Kong and water and even does something simple, as simple as doing a little bit of walking. You know, Dr. Barry Awe, he did a, stu he did a thing where, where no matter how hard he worked out and that kind of stuff, he still couldn't get rid of that belly and still couldn't get rid of, even though he was eating organic and all the, that kind of stuff. And, right. and uh, he did an experiment where he just stopped working out altogether and he was, and you know, he kept eating the same way, but he was just, he started drinking two gallons a day of Kong and water. And he has a before and after picture on his video that he does up there on YouTube. And, um, you know, he's, he's got six pack abs and, and he's done, didn't do a single sit up. And, um, you know, right. it's pretty, pretty amazing what the body does when you start giving it the main ingredient that it needs to be able to do its functions. And so it, it's, it's commonplace for, for men and women alike to just literally start drinking the water mm -hmm. and, and like get rid of, of the stupidity like soda pops and, and bottled water and, wow. and uh, their body all of a sudden starts getting what it needs and it literally starts melting away the fat. It starts getting rid yes. of all that stuff. And because the simple fact of the matter for, for folks out there that are going to see this down the line, you know, I don't mean to be mean to anybody because it's not being mean. It's simply being truthful. It is not healthy for the human body to be fat to have excess fat on their body and and that fat is actually a defense mechanism right. against all the acidic garbage that they're Ow. putting into it it's a defense mechanism it has to get that acid away from the internal organs right here and so it takes that acid and stores it as fat if it can't get rid of it right and, and so that's why so many people lose so much weight when they get on kong and water with really not even trying very hard. Not, I mean, I lost 10 pounds and I wasn't even trying to lose any weight. You know? <laughs> and right? that, 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 That's what I'm saying. Right. I agree with you. I agree with you, Jay. Um, I, you know, I work out, but I don't really just work out every week. You know, I do here and there, you know, I do a little sit-ups here and there, but I do the, you know, Windsor Pilates, you know, I do that Pilates. But Outside of that, drinking the water is really where, I, you know, it's just melting off, you know, and I'm like, whoa, I said, well, I better get up on this some more then. So I started out, you know, with, you know, just uh, a, a gallon a day. Now I'm up to about two, two gallons. Easy though. It's not like I'm just gugging and, you know, trying to make myself drink it. It's just like pretty easy. You know, I, once my, my bottle, where's my bottle? Once I finish, I refill it. 
you know, once I finish that, I refill it and I keep refilling it, you know, so. You know, I found my body starting, you know, in the, especially in the beginning, because I was like, I never drank any water, literally hardly. The only time I would ever even touch water mm -hmm. itself was if I was, uh, if I was sick, if I get a cold or something like that, mm -hmm. I would, I would drink some water when I was sick. Yeah. And luckily for me, I don't, I didn't get that sick very often, even in spite of all the garbage and poison I was putting into my body all those years, you know, and all the Coke and Sprite. I always figured, hey, I get, I get plenty of water. There's water in Coke. There's water in Sprite. <laughs> there's water in energy drinks. There's, you know, there's water in whiskey. There's water in, beer, you know, all that kind of crap. I was like, I get plenty of water from all the garbage that I drink. And I yeah. had no clue at the time how much garbage it was, but. When I bought my Kangen, my SD501, and uh, spent $4,000 on it, I was like, I just spent $4,000 on this thing. My God, I'm going to drink the water, you know. And so <laughs> I started drinking the water, and I started right. noticing how my body was craving it. And sometimes that's exactly the way it is. It's like your body starts to crave it, and you want yeah. it. And that's, you've got to go get it and drink it, you know. So I end up drinking usually at least a gallon of water a day. Right. Uh, sporadic throughout the day. I work from home, so I drink it mostly right out of the machine. But yeah. when I have to go to work and do things outside, you know, I take my fresh bag and I always recommend taking it or having it in a bag because you can squeeze after you pour it out, you can squeeze all the air out. So it yeah. lasts longer. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. so, but I, I've got a, a question for you. First off, what machine did you end up getting? Well, she sent me the junior. Okay, the, the, the junior. So that's the one that, does it make all the waters? All it does. It yeah. does. Okay. Perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm, I'm still discovering more and more about it. You know, I'm just like the 2.5, I didn't know, you know, you can use it for deodorant. Yeah. And, you know, me, I'm just going to be honest. I'm a pretty hairy woman, you know, so... <laughs> 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 I use deodorant, okay? So I said, you know what? Let me um try this. Let me just give me a little spray bottle. And uh let me just put some start putting some on. And uh because I started seeing okay, the deodorant and I you know, I've been using deodorant for a long time. But I've noticed my under my arms started getting tender. You know, and then so I said, you know what? Let me see what's in this deodorant. Well, aluminum is in the deodorant. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I was like, they trying to get us from every angle, seem like. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> so I stopped using deodorant and started using uh, 2.5. So there you go. That saved you some money right there. That was, that was kind of going to be my next question is, you know, you're a single mother. You're having a hard time being oh. able to make the payments and that kind of stuff. And yet, one thing I've noticed is that like in, in two years, my wife and I, we haven't bought laundry detergent. Right, uh, me, me too. We don't need to buy laundry detergent anymore. So that saves us money right there every month. Um, you know, and so what did you find in your life that were, were like you found that you, because you have Kong now, you don't need this or this or this. What would you, how would you, you know, like explain to people out there who are, probably there's a lot of people out there that are in your same kind of a situation where they're like, I just can't afford this. I can't afford right. this. What kind of things were you spending money on uh, Kong, that you're no longer spending money on? Well, I could tell that? you first. Yes. I could tell you firsthand. It has saved me more money. A lot of people think, Oh, I can't spend that. Well, I spent a lot of money on things that now I don't have to, which is first of all, um, toner makeup the facial toner you know now i used to buy lancome this brand called lancome that was about thirty dollars so that's it saved me you know a lot of money on that because i am a makeup girl i love makeup i love buying makeup trying different makeups and uh, my skin toothpaste you know also I used the 11.5 with toothpaste. And actually I had stopped using regular toothpaste uh, about two about two years ago, discovering, you know, um, you know, what 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 the fluoride did, you know, is actually hurting my son, hurting me, you know, and I said, Well, I'm not I'm not even to use, I'm gonna make my own toothpaste and I did 
went on Pinterest, found the, um, <laughs> the recipe to make my own toothpaste. And so now I don't even have to do that. Now I just use the, the lemon, you know, it just keeps getting better. You know, the more I, I stay with it, the more I keep asking God to reveal things to me, show me. And now I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm looking, being obedient, as they would say. Um, washing powder for my clothes. Um, Windex for the mirror. It just, that machine has saved me so much money, me being, you know, a single parent. You know, my son, now I can give my son more, you know, since I don't have to put the, all the money towards these these other things in the house. Um, plants, you know, I, I love plants, but I somehow they end up dying. <laughs> <laughs> so I discovered that the beauty water will bring them back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, whoa. Now I gotta. Now this is something else. We're talking about bringing a plant back using the beauty water. It was a pretty amazing. Yeah. Wow. And my hair also. You know, under you know right now I got you know a nice little pretty wig on or whatever, but I got a lot of thick hair. You <laughs> know, and and it's pretty kinky. Okay, but it's healthy. You know, it's healthy. When I started using the beauty water, it's just so lustrous now. So I said, you know what? This summer, I think I'm just going to start wearing my hair. You know, it's pretty healthy, thick, you know. But I like to switch up, too. Don't, don't get me wrong. I like to switch up. But I just noticed so much from, from the machine that the benefits, you know, it pays you back. Yeah. Amen. It pays, it, it's just simple as that. It pays you back. Um, I noticed some things. Um, now, this might be a little bit uncomfortable for you, but the monthly, my monthly, drinking this water. Oh, my gosh. I, at first, I couldn't even, my first day being on my monthly, I couldn't even do nothing. Literally couldn't that first day whether I had a job at the time or not I would have to miss that first day at work because my body was so out of whack hurting from every area drinking this water over the last two years I don't feel nothing <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying and it, and it started it's just <laughs> you're right I'll beat my chest too <laughs> Now, there's something to give me a little dance about because I'm like, now, wait a minute. I can move and go and do the things that I want to do, actually take care of my son as well. Because at that time, he would be like asking me, Mom, you need anything? You know, because we would talk and he'll know that I'm on my monthly and he will always step up to the plate. I can tell you my son, he will always step up and say, Mom, do you need anything? And I was like, no, baby. But now, since I've been on the water now, I'm like, hey, let's go. Let's get it. Wow, that ought to relate. That ought to resonate with a lot of ladies out there because um, I'm sure that, that um, you know, ladies don't, that, that they, a lot of them are dealing with the same issues that you are. And they're every month when it's that time of the month, they're just like, oh no, it's coming. And, and they know right. that it's going to be a, a horrible day or a horrible right. week or, whatever and so you know just what what i mean you you just said your story about it but what what kind of advice would you have to to the ladies out there that are going to hear this you know give them some 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 tough love or whatever you know well i'm you know i've always you know been that i'm a person that it really don't take a lot to you know you don't have to knock me over the head with with something you know what i'm saying but i know everybody's not like me but you know, you, you want to you wanna move out the way. You want to remove yourself and your thoughts out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Get, get, remove yourself and step out on faith. That's what I did. I can only give someone what I did. I did step out on faith. I said, I'm going to try it. I'm going to believe that it works. Even, and I'm seeing all these other people. I mean, what, I'm a human. <laughs> we 
look, I'm a human. It's got it got to work for me as well, and it did. Come here, honey. Come here. You got to meet this angel. See right here. This is my angel, Aretha. Ah. Hi. Hey, how you doing? This is Aretha Johnson. She's from uh, Clarksville, Tennessee, wow. and, and she's the angel that uh, that God brought into our life just a couple days ago when I was in need of one. Oh wow. <laughs> So, How you doing? Marvelous. <laughs> Great. She's headed off to go work and go make um, people giggle all day. And so you, I just wanted to have fun. Love us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's my better 99% right there. She's um, my biggest angel in the world. And I always say everybody should be so lucky in their life to meet my wife at least once. <laughs> um, I'm glad I met her. Thank you for letting me meet her too. Yes. I'm sorry for interrupting like that. Um, of course not. You know, I just wanted to just reiterate to, you know, the women that are um, having any types of health issues. You know, I know we don't supposed to say certain words about what can and can do and can't do. But if you would just get the water, drink it. Just drink the water, you know, and you will see for yourself. That's why I'm so into trying to just give the water away. You know what I'm saying? It's not about me making money. I know the money is there. I, you know, I'm all around mentors. I'm around, you know, people who have six A's, you know, six, you know, the Vendera's, you know, Romy Vendera is one of the top, you know, people in, in the company. So I know the money is there. Mm -hmm. However, I'm really pushing the health because you can have the money. <laughs> But if you ain't got the health, you can't enjoy it. Yes. So I've, I've got a, a question for you because I have a, I have a very dear niece who I, she, you know, she and I have been super close throughout our lives. You know, she's, we've got it. We've got an interesting relationship because I'm her uncle, but she's older than me <laughs> by a couple <laughs> of years. And, uh, oh, wow. you know, which is kind of funny. You don't see that a lot in, in most people's <laughs> lives, but my mom, uh, she made lots of babies. I was the last of 12. And, uh, oh, wow. And so, you know, that in itself is, in, is a, an amazing story that is part of the reason why I am so passionate about Congan Water, because I really believe that had I known about it, that she'd still be here with me today, barring right. some sort of a catastrophic accident, because, you know, she was, she was basically murdered by doctors. She was given all kinds of poisons and when she died, she was taking 22 different medications every day. They gave her a cyst that developed on the backside of her kidney, which poisoned her spinal fluid and turned her into a vegetable. And uh, it took four days and she was gone from this world and uh, on to heaven. But, uh, you know, it's, I still miss her. That was clear back in 1990. And, uh, you know, my, my dear niece, I love her so much, and I just, I can't stand seeing people suffer like this, and right. I'm trying like crazy to reach out, and she just recently found out that she's pre-diabetic, mm. um, and I, when she mentioned that on Facebook, I had to reach out to her and say, honey, come on, right. ah, get your tongue, you know, right, especially so, when you see it, when it comes to you, or I you would like to ask you if you would would uh, you know offer my dear niece some advice because you're right you were right in her same shoes you were pre-diabetic as well where are you now what 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 uh, what do you recommend to her and what you know what what advice do you have to give it to my niece well the advice that i have to give is do the opposite what they say do <laughs> to be honest you know because it's not what it's not where it used to be. The doctors and 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 what, the way the world has changed, you know, um, it, it's just not it's not the same. So the medicines and all that stuff that they're giving people, don't take it. Yeah. And what about you know? But don't take it. And not only that, when I say don't take it, meaning, you know, because I know the body takes time to 
you know, get it, get together and, and, and switch gradually. So what I'm saying about that is get it in your head that you're going to get off of the medicine, get it in your head first that, you know what, let me, let me just try this water. Okay. And then not only that, it is a combination of food. Now the, the vegetables, you can't, you can eat the salads. Yes, you can eat the salads that, that's going to give your body, you know, more nutrients and versus the other foods but the pesticides and the insecticides that come on the fruits and vegetables they have to be washed off yes they have to be washed off you know because that themselves that's that's what messes with the system yes. you know to to start healing you know it's just like you get home most everybody does that um, wash their fruits and vegetables off with tap water. We all know that. Thinking that they're getting the stuff off. Well, not only that it's not coming off, you come, you're putting a double whammy with the chlorine. So you're double whamming yourself with fruits and vegetables that are supposed to be doing you good. So that's why people never really see an increase of good health because you're double whamming. You're not... Yeah. The pesticides are still on there. Then you're also adding the chlorine in there. So how can the body heal? You have to wash that off with, with the 11.5. So the machine is definitely needed into turning around and changing your health, being pre-diabetic, cancers, all of that. I'm going to say it because we do have doctors that have um, recommended and said what it does. We all know that the uh, body cannot heal if it's in exceeded state. Yes. You know, you know, and that's from the doctor, Dr. Odie Warburg. You know, that's from him winning that the you know the Nobel Prize of saying you know you have to have your body in an alkaline state, and disease cannot live there. No disease can live in that state. So if a doctor has discovered this, they gave him a Nobel Prize for discovering it. Okay, so why not do it? Right. Why not get the body to an alkaline state? And I believe that's where a lot of people get it confused a little bit with the water. You know, yes, it is, it is miracle. It is miracle water. But don't forget that the water is helping us get it back to its original state. Right. That's why it's called Kangen water. Kangen stands for return to origin. Yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's returning us, to returning our body back to where it first started off as if we were in the womb, in the sack with the alkaline water. That's why the, wa the body is... It's familiar with it. You know what I'm saying? We go all the way back to being a little baby in the sack. And that in the in the liquid is alkaline. Yes. You know, so it's very deep. You know, it's very deep once you really get into it. And a lot of people don't understand it's not about uh no money. It's about helping people get their health together. Yes. Yes, the money it, hey. The money is definitely there too, you know, because, um, you know, when you're healthy, you want to be healthy in all three states. You want to be healthy, physical, financial, and um, peaceful as well. You want to have peace of mind. Yes. So I'm, I don't care how long it's going to take me to get where I want to get in this company. I'm never giving up. Amen. Champions never quit. You know, I never quit. That's one thing about me. When I'm on something, I'm very determined. I never stop. That is going to take you a long, long way in this world. And, um, you know, that's one of, one of the things I always tell people now that I understand it, um, you know, because a lot of people call Congan water, they call it miracle water, like yeah. you said. And, and I always say really and truly the miracle is this thing right here. Yes. This is the miracle. God gave us this incredible miracle of a machine. This thing is so complex yet so simple. And it, you know, it runs on hydrogen and electricity, 120 millivolts of electricity. And right. if you give it, 
if you give it that voltage and you give it that, that uh, hydrogen, it's amazing what it can do for itself. And, uh, you know, that's what, uh, that's what the machine gives us and that's what our body needs. And that's, uh, my, my wife forgot to shut Echo off. <laughs> Echo's up there telling her to get out of bed and uh, she's already gone. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you know, this machine of ours is such an incredible miracle and it is it such is. an amazing thing and it's designed to heal itself. It's not like a car right. that's designed to be fixed by a mechanic or something. Right. You know, our machine, if we give it that voltage and give it that electricity and give it that alkalization that it needs, it just goes ahead and fixes itself. It's like a cut that heals up, you know? Right. And, uh, right. So that's why it ends up being such a miracle for people and uh, why it ends up changing so many people's lives. And, um, you know, so, wow, what an incredible morning. Thank you so much for coming on. And um, I would like to just give you a, a couple more minutes here. You know, we've been on for 45 minutes and we can go as long as you want because I don't, I, you know, I always leave it up to the guests how long we, we stay on the show. But um, I would really like to just, I always ask everybody, number one to at the end to to give their their message what would your message be to to everybody and what, you know what's your main thing that you would have to say to people about why they want to be on this water why they need to strive to to get their own machine and then when you're done with that I would like you to tell everybody if you want to this is completely up to you whether you want to do this or not and that's how to you know give everybody your information so they know how to get a hold of you if somebody because the thing about this and one of the reasons I love this Kong family show so much is it gives me an opportunity to get people that are part of the Kong family to come in here and share their stories because the truth of the matter is that somebody watching this they might resonate with you and they might want to be you know, they might want to talk to you. They might even want to come and get their machine from you. They might want to be on your team. And uh, if that's the case, great. That's, that's the whole point of this to me. You know, I don't even care if it's somebody that's a, a friend of mine that's on Facebook that I've been working with for years, you know, even my niece, you know, if she wants to go get a machine from you because she resonates with you, fine. That's okay with me. I don't care. I just want her to have her machine. Right. Um, you know, where people get their machine, that's not the important part of the equation to me. Right. Um, the important part of the equation is that they get it. And, um, you know, so you never know. That's why I love getting on here and, and getting stories out there so that people can hear different people's stories because, you know, my story might not resonate with somebody, right. but yours might. And if, if it does, because this thing's getting recorded, it's going to go on my YouTube channel. It's going to go out there. You can, you can share it as well. And, right. and we just never know. This thing's going to be running around the internet for years and years to come. And you never know who's, who is going to resonate and go, yeah, well, I want to know who this lady is. I really like her. I'd like to go be on her team. And so yes. please make sure that after you're done giving your, your message as to why people should be on this and the, way, the one thing that's most clear and, and dear to your heart, and then how can people get a hold of you um, in case they want to, if okay. you want them to be able to get a hold of you, then by all, by golly, give your information out. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to first say that, you know, I've been on a journey myself, you know, with the water, it, it opens your mind. You know, it really does. It hide. That's the first place the water hit hydration uh, to the, to the brain. Mm -hmm. So therefore you can think clearer. See that that's how important this is, because before you you're foggy, you're foggy. You you can't really think clear, you know. So you definitely need the water to think clearly, and you will be more vibrant in the decisions that you make out here as well. So you can't give from a place of junk. You know what I'm saying? You have to give from a clean place. So I've been on a journey myself. So once I've been um, drinking the water, I encourage people to, you know, understand that 
the water is doing so much for you. You know, my son, you know, autism, like I tell you, I don't know if he even still have it. You know, I'm just going to be honest. But a mother that's been searching, trying to find answers, trying to help their child, you know, I am so blessed for, for this. I encourage every mother to just get the machine. Don't let no value step in your way of trying to help you, your child, your children, of becoming their best, you know, their best. Not what somebody tells them that they're gonna be for the rest of their life. You don't know, you really don't know. So you have to step out on faith knowing that I believe that God wouldn't bring it into anyone's life. If it come across your table, don't just scoot it out the way. It's meant to happen. You know, so step out on that. That alone, you've been praying your answers. Your prayers has been answered. You know, and I do believe that. Um, you know, mothers, single mothers. I'm a single mother so it's hard it's hard but when something like this come in your life you know you just have to go ahead and say you know what i don't know how lord i don't know where but i know it's gonna happen and believe that it will you know and he will make it happen for you so definitely do that that is my that is my plea really to just step out on step out on it you know and start drinking the water give it to your children give it to anybody that you know that their their body their health just give it to them and um that's the best for me to to see other people you know becoming turning their life around you know, you've been dealing with something for so many years and you don't think you're going to ever get off of it. You don't think things are going to change. And then this come in your life and then it actually does, you know, and you're like, wow. You know, and then the opportunity comes with it as well. You know, so it's just, it's just great. You know, um, like you said, Jay, some people might not resonate with you. They might resonate with me. You know, if you do want to reach out to me, you can definitely reach me um, direct on uh, my website, uh, Aretha J. Dot Enagicweb. Dot info. Um, my Facebook page, you can reach me there. And I'm just, uh, you know, I'm not all. Can you spell Aretha? Aretha. Aretha is uh, A R E A T H A J dot Enagic E N A G I C W E B dot I N F O info. And you know, you can reach me on um, my, my um, Facebook page. So I'm definitely there to help anybody. Um, I want to help everybody, to be honest, because I'm, you know, I'm reaching out. I'm doing things that I haven't done, Jay, as far as push the limits with my own self, with getting in touch with my family, um, trying to let them know as well, you know, hey, let's, let's, let's really think about it. Let's, you know, I know some people are like, well, you know, it's a business. It's not, that's not why I'm getting in touch with you get in touch with you to tell you about it. If the business is where you want to go, it's there. But if your health is something you've been dealing with for many of years, many people are on medication and they feel they have to be on medication because that's what the doctor told them. No, you don't. And I want to be the person to, to show them, you know, by the videos that I'm posting, and, you know, by um, putting myself out there because I realized that, you know, I have to do that. So I'm opening the door. The Lord says, step out. I got you. 
because I didn't want to do it because of my son. I didn't want to put myself out of there because, you know, I know how people can be. But God says, step out. You say you want to help, they got to see your face. They got to see you living it. So I did. And when that night, I was, you know, on Facebook, getting in touch with um, more people of Enagic and Congan Water. And I came across you and I said, I'm just going to film request them. You know, um, he, your face, you just looked like you're so happy. And I love happy people. So, you know, I said, I'm going I'm to reach out to him. And then you return with that. You know, Jay, I want to thank you because I've been wanting to reach out to people and I didn't know how, you know, and this comes across my lap. And I said, well, look at that guy. <laughs> look at that opportunity comes in. And I said, well, I'm going to jump at it. Yes, I would, be, I would love to be a guest. And when you had Sam train on there, I went and looked at that. And I was just like, hey, he's a scientist. <laughs> he's trying to get his own family on the water. So we're all in the same, we're all in the same um, movement. And uh, Kanye Water is on the rise. I just hope it be in everybody's house want to encourage people. Yeah, well, I'll tell you right now that, uh, you know, thank you so much. You really and truly are an angel. And, um, you know, I was praying for an angel that night because I really needed to get somebody on the show today. And, um, you know, it's just so amazing. God works in such mysterious ways. And you know, literally the day was almost over and I needed somebody and I still didn't have them. And all of a sudden, bam, just like that, there you are. Wow, and, um, it was so neat because more a lot of people are willing to come on the show, but they it usually takes me a couple of weeks or months to to get them on. Um, and it's pretty rare that I ask somebody, "Hey, can you come on on Thursday?" And it's only Tuesday, and, and you know, for you to go, "Yeah, oh, that's great." I'm like, "Yeah." Thank you, <laughs> and plus, she's she's awesome, and she's got an incredible testimonial <laughs> and an incredible story, and um, you know, and that's going to resonate with people and. And it just, uh, you know, your whole testimony is just really, um, you know, another person that is the epitome of what the Kong family is all about. We're, we're, we have a really simple goal and people, probably a lot of people hear this and they laugh, yeah, whatever, huh, that's funny, you know, but the truth is, is it's dead serious. It Our is. goal is to change the world and it's a very simple goal because, you know, history is full of people who've changed the world by simply keeping on, keeping on and having the truth and, uh, and God on their side. You know, I thank God and Mr. Oshiro every single day that this was yes. brought into my life and, and that I was, that I finally pulled my head out far enough so that I could actually see and look, you know, because there's so many people who won't even look, they will not even look because right. they're so stubborn and they see, oh, it's a network marketing company. Oh, you know, or they see <laughs> it's water and they think water is just water and they're correct. Right. But, you know, because water really is just water, but Kong's water is different. It's not water. It's, right. it's H2 negative OH. It's electrolyzed reduced water. It's not right. just water. That's After about 48 hours, it just turns back into plain old regular old poisonous water again you know I, and I call it the great conundrum of life because on one hand water you have to have it you can go yeah. like four days without it if you don't you know if you're not dead you're wishing to god you were dead and then on the other hand it's poison it's killing you it's a very slow acidic poison they right. call it universal solvent for a reason and uh Kangen water turns that that acidity around and, and electrolyzes the water and, and turns it into something that's good for you. But, you know, that whenever I give water out to people, I always tell them, if you're not going to drink this within 48 hours, pour it out. Give it to your plants or something right. like that. Go pour it on your lawn. But yeah. do not drink it because after about 48 hours, it just turns into regular old, plain old poisonous water again. And, and you're not doing me a favor, you're not doing yourself a favor by, by drinking this. If you're gonna drink it, my God, drink it. Yeah. And um, drink it fast and come get some more. 
Yeah. So, you know, that's, or let me know and I'll bring you some more and that kind of thing. And it's free. I don't want any money for it. I want to bring it to you. I want you to drink. It's not about the money. I, th yeah. I believe that's what a lot of people get the misconception about it, you know, and um, a lot of people, of course, we have that, that challenge of, uh, you know, trying to explain to them that, yes, the machine is, we have different machines that range in the thousands, but hey, do you want a cheap machine? Do you want the ones that out there that are saying something that they don't do? Yeah. They're, they're our competitors, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they're not doing what we're doing. They can't, that's why they can't say it. Right. You know what I'm saying? We have patent, we have proof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All they have is trying to, they trying to keep up. You know, yeah. if, if the you truth have to, is, we don't have any competitors. As we don't, I mean, they own. think they are, they think they are, well, you know, by not. trying to, mm -hmm. by trying to do something on, on Google, you know, when you put King and Water in there, you know, all the ads come up, you know, if you haven't noticed the ads come up of saying, you know, about King and is a scam and stuff, you know, I tell them, you're going to see that. And that's because they're trying to deter what King and Water is doing. Yeah, okay. they're trying to ride off of our coattails. That's and, right. You know, what I do with all people like that that's looking at other things, I give them Dr. Michaels. There's a guy named Dr. Michael Donaldson, and um, he, uh, he has a, a bunch of videos out there called Dr. Michael Explains, and one mm -hmm. of them is called Dr. Michael Explains the Competition. Mm -hmm. And he's owned over eight different ionizers that he bought from other companies and tried. And he was, he was actually a, an incredible opponent of alkaline and alkalized water, water ionizers. He was an opponent because he bought so many machines and they never did anything for him. And, uh, you know, he actually found himself getting sicker from drinking the water from these machines. Wow. And then, uh, you know, faithfully, he came across Kangen water and, and noticed the difference. And then he started digging into it. And, and he actually took and tore apart all of his other machines to see what the difference was. And he did a big, he did, that was like a 48 minute video on YouTube called Dr. Michael Explains the Competition. Oh. And at the end of the video, he says, you know, when you put it all into perspective and you look at it apples to apples, you clearly see that there is no competition. We don't have, there is nobody in the world that is competition apples to apples That's with right. pond and water there, there just simply isn't whether there will be someday maybe i don't know but right now no and you know our patented technology the way the machine is made you know i don't know if you're aware of this but this was something that really i loved hearing this kong and water machines are made by enagic from start to finish they do not they do not outsource anything mm -hmm. not even the packaging uh -huh. they make the packaging and everything and um also every machine is put together by, by one by technician yeah like, i've seen that it doesn't he doesn't put in this little gadget and then pass it to the next person down the line to put the next gadget in or whatever right he starts a machine and he builds it he or she builds it from start to finish and they have a whole bunch of technicians and each technician builds each machine from start to finish. So it, it helps us with uh, our quality control and making it. And that's why these machines will literally, I tell people, you buy one of these machines, it will be the only time you'll ever have to buy it. It will last you the rest of your life. Yeah. You just take care of it. That's all you got to do. And taking care of it is simple. Very. <laughs> it's so, very simple. Yeah, it's uh, it's such a neat thing. It's such a blessing from God and Mr. Oshiro yeah. that they brought this to the world. And um, I want to say thank you so much. You're welcome, Jay. For coming on here today, Aretha. You're such an angel. You're such a blessing. And I'm so happy to have gotten to meet you and see that beautiful smile and face <laughs> and hear your awesome story. And I'm so happy for you and your son. And thank I'd love to get the chance to meet your son one of these days. You, when will. We, uh, you know, if you want to, because he's probably at school right now, but, you know, it'd be fun to, to do a surprise live sometime. Oh, definitely. We're not, uh, we're just. Jump on with your son, you know, and uh, let him tell his story. He's 12 right. years old. 
maybe on his birthday. Maybe let's let's surprise him with a surprise. Yeah, that's a great idea, oh, Jay. Family show on his birthday. That would be a blast. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great idea. And you know what? This is just the beginning with us because as I was coming on, um, people that I've informed that I will be doing your show, um, I had um, a, a Facebook friend that says he has been trying to get him himself trying to get his word out too on a on on this type of scale and i told him i would definitely connect him to um, the kong family show yeah just tell him to go to the kong family page and give it a like and a follow and then he'll get all this and if he wants to come on the show we would love to have him on yeah. and yeah. um you know every sometimes my brother sean wetzel he's been in this for 10 years he's actually personally moved um close to 500 machines and uh oh, wow. you know he's been in it for a long time he's a real good friend of mine he lives in montana and every sometimes he comes on here with as well and he asks questions and he's part of the interview and he's he's a lot of fun he's a he's a ton of fun you'll love you'll love him i highly recommend that you send him a friend request to okay. sean wetzel and um uh, but yeah, you know, anybody that's interested in sharing their testimony and sharing their, their success, you know, whether it's from the business side or the, or the product side, you know, we're interested in both because that's what it's all about. And, um, really you know, is. ultimately we just want to get the water out to people, but there's also a tremendous business opportunity for those that are interested in that as well. And, and so those people that have come out, you know, and they've made lots of money or whatever, we yeah. certainly want to hear their stories too, because- right. The one common denominator with all these people that have made a bunch of money is they've also saved a bunch of lives and changed a bunch of lives. And, and, uh, you know, the, it's so cool being, this is by far and away. I've been a, I've been self-employed since I was 18, 19 years old. Wow. I've always hated punching time clocks. I've always hated having someone Me else. Too. <laughs> make. And, and so this of all the things I've done in my life, this is by far and away the most rewarding, fulfilling yeah. and uh and you're feeling good about doing it too i mean i just feel good about it i mean yeah. no it's not easy as far as you know starting your own business i mean this is not my first business i've started but it's just such a joy to know i can do it and make money as well and i can help someone you know what i'm saying help someone help someone you know what i'm saying that's what i love about it it, you know because once they get help they will start to say wow i know somebody else that this could help yes. wow uh, oh i know someone else that this can help it's just a trickle trickle down effect you know so that's what i love about it that's yeah. exactly what i love about it so i want to thank you again jay just thank yeah, you for the opportunity and I love you and I'm so glad I don't, I, you know, I've just met you for the first time, but I know from my heart that, that you are truly an angel and you're deserving of all the love in the world. And, and quite frankly, I love all the members of the Camp Kong family and it's only a matter of time before I get to meet them because yeah. for as long as this is available, this platform is available. I'm going to be doing the shows. Um, I'm going to be doing them seven days a week if you know we do it monday through friday one way or the other whether i have a guest or not i'm going to be on here talking yeah, yeah. about the water talking about something because right. it's monday through friday live at 8 45 but if i've got people that want to come on on the weekends i'm going to be doing it on the weekends too and uh yeah. you know so like next weekend just so everybody knows out there i'm going to be not this weekend coming up but the weekend afterwards the 15th, 16th, well, the 15th, we're going to do it, but the 16th and 17th, I'm not going to be doing it because I'm, my wife and I, my sweetie, we're going to go on a little, we're going to go on a little badly needed date for the week. Oh, uh, where are you going? We're actually just going downtown to Salt Lake. We had an opportunity to get a, oh. a real nice hotel room down there for the weekend and, and oh. then we're going to go see the jazz game. I'm a, I'm a big jazz fan and a basketball fan we're gonna go watch the utah jazz play the brooklyn That's great. Play. and we're gonna go we're gonna go real early and go hang out with the timbers yeah. and we're both i'd like five six and she's five foot uh-huh we're, <laughs> we're gonna go get pictures with with the big tall timbers it's yeah. gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great yeah we're gonna that two days we're not gonna be doing the show um 
And uh, but when we do the Saturday and Sunday shows, we do them at any kind of the day for you know whenever somebody can work it out. It's all based on the guest, and so yeah. you never know what the weekend times are going to be. But but I'm going to be here doing it. So thank you well, so. I'd love to come back on as well, and I'm pretty sure I have a you know nice quality following uh, on Facebook, a nice quality following on the instagram um on twitter you know the i got you know the good quality people i don't have thousands of friends but i do have the ones that i have are good quality awesome. and um, they are close to me so i'm pretty sure they'll be seeing this and the ones that actually want to you know get their word out i'll be more than happy to direct them right to the kong family show you tell them to get a hold of that crazy little <laughs> rascal JJ surprise, just so they know it's J John surprise, J J O H N surprise on Facebook. Yes, yes. Send me yes. a friend request if you'd like to, and if you wouldn't mind sending me a message along with it that says, "Hey, you crazy rascal, I want to be part of the Cohen family." You know, <laughs> that would be awesome. But yes, I'm any friend of of Kong is a friend of mine, and I just love you all and. And you are such a blessing, honey. Thank you for coming on today. You're welcome. Telling us your story. And God bless you and yours. And uh, I can't wait to meet your son. Hopefully we can work that out. And we will. On his birthday, that would be a lot of fun. That would be a little yeah. surprise for him. You don't even have to tell him what's going on. Just, you know. Next thing you know, you're, he he <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be fun getting to meet him so and it's i know it's only a matter of time before that happens but oh yeah yes um i'm so appreciative thank you so much for coming on with me today you're and welcome sharing your incredible journey and story and uh you know we're gonna change lives together so we are. What's, our, what's our uh mission change your water change your life absolutely and the kong family mission is we just want to change the world. We we are we are we yes. are changing the world. We're a million now. We're over a million strong right now. Yeah. And what's the old saying? You know, we want to just change the world. It's easy peasy Japanese, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> All right, honey, you have yourself an awesome rest of the day, and have a wonderful weekend when it gets here. And um, I look forward to touching bases with you on Facebook. And uh, oh yeah. And, uh, you know, God bless. God bless you, too. Bye for now. Oh, by the way, don't forget drugs. Oh, booty hoo. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right, honey. Bye for now. Have a great day.